All right, so this is an example problem of algorithm flowchart. Uh, you'll see this uh, towards the end of the FE exam under, I guess, software, program, programming, or maybe the computer section or something like that. So this example problem is asking for the value of x at the completion of the flow diagram. <clears throat> So you're, give, you're given an algorithm with some values and they ask you to find the value of, of x. Now, the NCES is notorious of throwing you under the bus. Here they're not asking you for the final value of you know, your decision here. They're asking you what is the value of x. So you got to read the problem really carefully here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, first of all, x is equal to 2 t is equal to 3. So your first equation is, um, let me use a white pen here. So x is equal to, oh, let me use a color. I think color is more fun. All right, so x is equal to 2. So your first uh, equation here, I don't know if I want to call that equation, but your first um, point here is x is equal to t plus 1 t is 3, so x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 3 plus 1, and that's equal to 4. All right, so t, following up our flow chart here, t is equal to x plus 1. So don't use this value of x here. So you got to follow through. Your value of x is 4, so you got to use 4 plus 1, this is equal to 5. So right at here, the decision is asking you, is t equal, is t greater than x? So t is 5, x is 4, so yes. So that's, that is the end of the algorithm. You're not going anywhere else. So your final value of x is 4. So x is actually 4. So this is your final answer. Now, if t was not greater than x, then you got to go back here, plug in, again, your x, which is 4. Uh, I mean, uh, plug in your t, which is 5. So you're going to have x is equal to 5 plus 1. And then t, that would be 6. And then t would be 6 plus 1, and that's 7. And you keep following up. So un until this is satisfied, you're going to go back uh, through the loop. But in this particular case, thankfully, um, we are already at the point where we're satisfied with the equation. So we just return and the final value of x is equal to 4.